to know that the Israeli government is trying very hard to defend its citizens, um, but it's just so overwhelming. New tonight, the deadly fighting in the Middle East hits close to home. A local Israeli woman lost a family member to that rocket attack that killed three on Thursday. And tonight, she's speaking only to 10 News about it. San Diegan Rachel Baranis has been keeping a close eye on the Middle East, specifically the fighting there, as hundreds of rockets are launched back and forth between Israel and Gaza's Hamas rulers. I mean, you can imagine rockets coming from the border here to Camp Pendleton, about the same, the same distance, about 47 miles every day. On Thursday, though, her worst nightmare came true when a rocket from Gaza hit an apartment building in the town of Kirab Milahi, Hebrew for Los Angeles. The rocket killed three, including her 24-year-old cousin, Itzik. They have sometimes just 15 seconds or less to go to the shelters. He did not have enough time, and that's when the rocket hit him. He finished serving in the IDF um, army, and he was about to get married soon. And this is just a great loss for, for everyone. Israel claims to be inflicting heavy damage on Hamas, but so far that's failed to slow the rocket fire coming from the Palestinian territory. Half of Israel right now are living in shelters. Um, I know the schools are underground now. Everything's happening in the shelters now. Meantime, Israeli rocket attacks have killed at least 40 Palestinians. As the wounded arrived at Gaza's biggest hospital, its ICU is filled with what doctors say are simply civilians. As the Israeli government works to protect its people, though, as many as 75,000 reservists have been called up. Columns of military vehicles and troops now massing there, all ahead of a possible ground operation. We have more than one million people under fire now. This is a place we have to protect. Again, again, you see, we have to run. Let's go, let's go. And Israel has been successful in shooting down rockets headed for Tel Aviv. Tomorrow, a coalition of more than 40 San Diego organizations and synagogues will hold a large-scale Israel Solidarity Rally at the Noble Athletic Field and Recreation Center from 1 to 2 p.m.